Shalom, shalom, I can miss your brother here, Yakanin. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweshai, Bashim Akakwadash, Barakadum, the honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and that taught me his truth and salutations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting in his work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To y'all, want to say shalom, okay? Hey, I'm just headed to the gym, quick transit. All right, an example today would be on Kanye West. Okay, and um, you, you know, we know Kanye West is a bug out. He sold his soul already. He, he's already admitted it. All right, but he's doing something that's a lot. A lot of you niggas are scared to do. All right, and he's turning his back away from his oppressors, from this, from this oppression. Because the scriptures say a wise man make a uh, uh, oppression make a wise man mad. All right, and the only way you know you're oppressed is, is is if you are wise. All right, and you people, our people. That's the thing with our people. Our people are so quick to make fun of, to put down our people, man. Right, they so quick to demonize Kanye West and not even listen to what he's saying. This man's been in the in the system in the industry for how long? You don't think he knows some deeper shit than the regular motherfuckers, than the regular people? And he's right, man. He's spot on. Those goddamn Jewish Amalekites, Edomites ain't no goddamn real Jews. They the fake Jews. They the Jewish pretend to be imposters to the real Jews who are the so-called Black Latinos and Native Americans. All right. And you niggas still don't know that, man. Uh, you niggas still clowning Kanye like, like what he's saying is bullshit. Everything Kanye's saying is true, man. Uh, and look how he's being demonized. Look how they're coming after him. If everything he said wasn't true, why are they dropping him? Why are they treating him like the way they are? You people ain't caught on yet that the people that know something, the people that come out and speak truth, they get demonized. They get killed. They want you to think that those people are crazy. They don't know what they're talking about. I let you know that the Jewish is definitely in rule. Look at all, for all the examples of the people that spoke out against the Jews and had to come out and apologize. The Jewish, LeBron, felt like I'm getting Jewish money, had to come out and apologize. The song Jackson, Nick Cannon, Whoopi Goldberg. Okay, among many others, man. All right, when you speak out against the Jewish, the people that run this world, it's a known thing that if you want to get off the case, you want to get less time. You go and get a Jewish lawyer. Well, why is that? Because they're the ones that sets the constitutional laws. They're the ones that run everything. They're the ones that are in power. Okay, this, this is a known thing. All right, but yet you niggas still don't have a clue what's happening. You niggas still think that the president is the one that is setting the order in America. And that's why our people are destroyed, man. All right, but it's just an example to say that the way they demonizing Kanye West the way that these people are calling him crazy, the way that his family turned on him, the way that the world's turning against him, hey, that's going to happen to us, man. Your goddamn mom, your dad, your brothers, your sisters, your best friends are going to turn on you, man, as the scriptures say. Blessed are ye that are persecuted for my name's sake, man. And Kanye not even repping your howl by Shem Yahweh He just telling y'all niggas the truth in the world. They're going to demonize the men of the Lord, the prophets, even more, man. And they're going to try to kill some of us. And they're going to kill some of us. Are you ready for that? Are you mentally prepared for that? Some of this shit's going to be embarrassing the shit they pull out against us. Since some of this shit, they're going to use CGI technology and make up shit that we said. That's what they did to our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. They had many false witnesses making up shit about him to make him look like a bad guy. That's what they're going to do against us. They're going to pull up our camp pages. They're going to cut little snippets, add shit, take away shit. Photoshop shit. To make us look like the bad guys, like false prophets, like we worship Satan. And all we're doing is coming out here telling the truth. But the more we tell the truth, the more Esau gets exposed. And he don't want to be exposed. Esau power comes from darkness, comes from secrecy, comes from deception, comes from manipulation. It comes from wickedness. So the more he can stay low, the more he can stay in power. See, what we're doing is we're bringing everything to the light. The truth shall come to the light. And Kanye won't be the first uh, a so-called celebrity or famous person to come out against this system, it's going to be many more. The Lord rattling up them spirits, man. Because it's about time we getting the fuck up out of here. All right, but it's an example to show you people 
that what these people are going to do to you to make you look like a nut job, to make you look wild, to make you look crazy, to turn to have your parents and your, and your siblings and your friends turn against you. Someone was going to go into the office and snitch on you and say he live over here. Yeah, he live here. They're going to put up a reward on your head. Hey, whoever can find uh, so-and-so, look, we got we got this. We got a year supply of this. Hey, you get you get half off here. Um, you get $10,000. Uh, you get free gas for you. Whatever the goddamn uh, 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 reward is, these people are going to go and do it, man. Because these people are sold out as well. These people don't, don't have no fucking morals or, or, or standards. These people live for the world. These people live to impress others. These people want to live comfortably. See, we don't care if we got to live uncomfortably. We're ready to lose it all. That's what these people don't get. We're ready to lose everything. We're ready to lose our own goddamn life. So how much more are goddamn kids in our house and food and, and go out there and living out in the forest as pilgrim among the earth, as the scriptures say? See, when you're prepared to give up your life, you're prepared to give up anything, man. And we're prepared. That's why it says, present your, your, your body a living sacrifice. We go out to the highways and byways in, in, in hopes that we come back home, but we, we very well couldn't. And we ain't scared to go out there in the highways and byways in the face, in the boldness, all right, in the face of our adversaries and preach this goddamn truth. All right, just understand what's going to come with this, brothers. Understand that you're going to be persecuted. Right, verbally, physically, okay. It is not that the Lord not with us. All right, but these are the things that He said we're gonna have to go through. That's where that faith is gonna really be tested. That's where that trusting out by Shimei was shy is really gonna be tested, man. All right, when you going through through shit, you when you getting put in jail because He said that you know the weapon formed against you shall not prosper. It didn't say it wasn't gonna form. So just because you get thrown into jail, don't mean the Lord ain't with you. Just because you get your head cut off and you got to get killed by the guillotine don't mean the Lord ain't with you. All right, look how the, old, the prophets of old had died, man. All right, some of them prophets died the worst ways. Does that mean the Lord wasn't with them? No, I don't mean that. The Lord was still with them. But they just had to die that way, man, for whatever reason. And we don't know uh, who that person was specifically. Like, the way they died, it sounds bad. Like, it sounds like it would have hurt. But... You don't know if the Lord would have had already taken that man's soul from him and he didn't even feel it. You know, the Lord can do that. You know, the Lord will get your flesh killed, but your spirit will be removed before you even face that type of pain. Or the Lord will not even allow you to, 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 to experience that type of pain. All right. Getting your head chopped off is like, it's an instant. That's a, that's a kind of a quick, easy day. The only thing that's, that's really scared is the flesh. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, you know? So we got to be prepared for all these things, for all these temptations, okay? That's why the Lord gave us the book, man, gave us the map to warn us, to forewarn us. For our, for our help, for our sake, to help us, to protect us as much as possible, okay? So just watch out there, all the people that's calling Kanye a nut and he's crazy and what he's saying is racist and so on and so forth because those same people is going to be looking to turn your ass in. It's going to be looking to speak falsely and bad about you. Okay, these people don't have a clue what the hell is going on, man. Some of these people talking bad about Kanye are the same ones that used to look up to him and buy all his music and say how great of an artist he was and this and that. But now that the media is portraying him to be some nut job and some out of whack nigga, these people are going along with the media. And that's one of Esau's greatest tools, greatest strengths is his media. The ability to manipulate you people in the mind, man. Because a lot of these people don't even have a clue what's going on in the world. So anything they see on TV, they, they just believe without question, without research. A lot of these people, they believe in shit they can't even prove. Scriptures say prove all things. Well, how do you believe in something that you can't even prove that you believe it? You just do it because she said, he said, your pastor said. But you don't really know how you believe it. You can't prove it. These people are sheep. They're weak-minded. And they're easy manipulated. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Okokwadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And citations out there to the hopeful elect. 
The brothers that are putting his work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully, to you, I want to say, Shalom.